Hey! I'm gonna have to close my windows, aren't I? Or just wait for the car to go. Okay! Hello! How are you? Good, 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 good. My god, it's Monday, isn't it? I thought it was Sunday then. No, it's Monday. Oh no, I'm an awful person. Uploading too late. I'm sorry. Just. <sighs> it's not that I haven't got any ideas, it's just I procrastinate. Like, I did have a video coming up and I started it about four weeks ago. I filmed about half of it. And it's not even that big a project. It's just a small crappy video for you all. And I haven't done it yet. I'm sorry. Oh well. <laughs> so, hello. Um, I decided that I was going to do a bit of a vlog. It's not going to be one of those vlogs where you see what my day is like. I'm just going to tell you about things that have happened to me. Like Phil. Like Amazing Phil does. Most recently, I've dyed my hair. And it's purple underneath. And not on top. And under my fringe. I dyed it with Emma on Friday evening. After school, we went down into town and she got her nose pierced. We got the bus back to my house. We came home and edited a video. Then we went to her house and... We dyed our hair because we could. We dyed it the same colour actually, but she did her whole head purple. I did underneath my head and it looks really cool. And I'm so pleased with it. I hope you guys are too. I like it. This video that she was editing was actually her very own music video. Her and her friend we went to a recording studio and recorded a song that her friend wrote and I am actually in the video. You just see a lot of me running through woods and that is what I do throughout the whole video. I run in heels. It's a really good song and it was for their Beat the Bullies project which I don't actually know much about but I think you should check that out. I think that would be good. So I'll link, put a link to that down below. Um, what else have I done recently? Oh yeah, I went to Comic Con, not this weekend, but the weekend before, with my boyfriend David and his dad, and it was so cool. It was really cool, but there was an absolutely massive queue that went round the building loads and loads and loads. Every time we thought it ended, it there was still a mass amount of people. But once we got in, it it moved quite quickly. And then we got in, we were just like, whoa, there's aisles upon aisles upon aisles of merch. And I was like. Yes! There was also a massive swarm of people everywhere. Ah. And loads of really cool cosplayers. I just, I couldn't stop pointing that. I was just getting so excited. I was like, oh my god, is that person like a spider man? And then after the aisles, there was signs where you could go meet people, get photos, and have autographs with them. And David, that lucky little sod, met Stan Lee. Oh dear. And we also met the guy from Aeroplane. I can't see the photo of us is there. Robert Hayes from Aeroplane. He's really cool. And it's a really good classic comedy film. It's very funny. You should watch it. And I bought some bits and pieces from the place. What did you buy, Rachel? Well, I bought a big book of Iron Man comics. Basically, it has all of his most important stories in here. Let me just say the artwork. Oh my god, it is so sexy. I mean, look, you've got the classics. I love the classic comics. You have the really sexy new stuff. And it's like, whoa, man. I didn't actually buy this at the convention, but it was given to me by David. The Civil War, which I started to read, and it is so good. I've got these really cool pictures. They're up there on my wall, and they're like, oh my god, so sexy. I love photos and posters and pictures and stuff. If you couldn't tell from the wall behind me, which you've seen before, I my posters there and there and on every single wall. And wow, posters. friend from Australia, and she went on holiday to Sydney, I think it was, and she got me some souvenirs, which are really cool. And one of them, she got me this little baby over here. Little kangaroo. And it's so cute. 
cute and fluffy and it's actually got a pouch and you can stick your finger in it. That is what you do with the pouch. That is the noise that every teddy makes with me. And she said, she said it would be a good idea. It's kind of a reference sort of thing. She thought it could be in the background of my videos. And I was like, oh my god, that's a totally cool idea. You're referencing to amazing Phil. Because like with his little lion and I have a little kangaroo. And I'm not trying to copy him because it wasn't even my idea. It's just referencing him to show like, oh my god, we love this amazing Phil. I haven't given it a name. All teddies have no gender to me, by the way, so it's because they have no gender. Like Twilight, Twilight has no gender at all. It is just Twilight, the unicorn. <sighs> yes! School is finished. Finally. It's now the summer holidays. Yes. Oh my god, I can't wait. We have six weeks off. I don't have to go back to school till September. Oh my god. Oh, can't tell you how glad I am to be away school and stressy homework and tests and annoying people. Ugh, people. So yeah, there's an update on my life. Thank you for watching. Have a good life. See you next week. Bye. Just gonna have to check my messages. Bear with me. No messages. I was saying aeroplane, it's actually airplane because it's American. Airplane. Still no messages. How much time have we got left before it stops recording? <laughs> I don't want it to go. I don't know how much time it has left. This is really awkward. Four seconds. Oh god, no. <laughs>